Hey everyone, TV with another review. Today. So, today I'm bringing you something. I think it was asked on Twitch, on one of my streams. And the question was, how do you get started? Like, how do you start a new piece? And I decided to share with you three different ways that I use. The majority of the time I do this for just quick edits. Oh, I have this idea and then I wanna like visualize it. For those of you that don't know, I can't really visualize in my head an image. So it's just, the easiest way for me to explain it is I see the explanation of my idea, right? So there are some people that see images. I see like words. I don't see the words, but it's a black thing when you just hear a thing, whatever. Anyway, uh, so I tend to need visual aid in like real life to make everything make sense. So we're going to jump into my Photoshop. Nope, not Photoshop. Mm -mm, uh -uh, not do that. Uh, we're going to jump into my computer now. My desktop, that's what I meant to say. And I'm going to show you three tools because technically they are tools that I use every day to create whatever I'm creating. So if right now I'm doing November, uh, I'll be, I'm going to be live on Twitch every day around 5 p.m. GMT, my time zone. Um, doing November for the rest of November. So if you want to hang out, jump on Twitch and say hi at 5 <laughs> p.m. GMT. So first things first, this is Pinterest. I've talked about Pinterest on my, my Instagram stories before, and I still stand by it. Pinterest is one of the best tools in this industry right now to get ideas, to see if your concept is something very like used already if you have somewhat of a, an original idea or not like pinterest is it's awesome so i have a few boards i have like character boards i have female characters i have landscape references i have ideas for uh like one photo challenges i have ideas for concept art here I have like finished pieces as well. Like this board is full of like full concept art pieces. And this is one of the ways that I've been using to get like um, references. So let's say I want to do like something with a really cool play on light. If you like, I pinned this, right? This is from uh someone they didn't tag the person but yeah this is a piece from someone right and then if you go to the related usually you can see like more pieces like pieces pieces like that if you can't visualize just like me being able to use pinterest as one of your sources of inspiration don't copy things don't copy Thanks, Mary. Thank you very much. This is not for you to go and grab an image and use it as a background for your work. That's not allowed by anyone. Don't do that. But what is allowed is for you to see something and use it as a reference. Like if you like, let's say, I like this image right here. What can I do? I can save it to my reference folder. I'm gonna scroll down for the other things that Pinterest thinks are similar to this. I know a lot of artists that grab Pinterest uh, references for their um, their drawings. So that's another way for you to use Pinterest. I really, really think Pinterest is an awesome way to get references. Reference is good. Copying is bad. Second um, platform that I uh, I swear by. It's awesome for ideas. It's awesome to just like visualize different concepts. Maybe if I don't have an idea going in my head. I would go there and I just scroll for like five minutes and see what happens. So, and that platform is, drum roll please. Unsplash. You've heard of Unsplash. I've talked about it before. Everybody on Instagram uses Unsplash. I have a few photos here as well. Uh, I have a few of my own photos. This is from a trip to Berlin. This is from a place in Portugal called Judeish. What I like to use Unsplash for is mostly for their own page. Why? Usually they feature good 
content. Either the content is a very good image, so it's a high quality image, or it tells like some type of story. This one right here. I like this photo. What what would I do? I wouldn't just download the photo. If I'm, if I'm looking for inspo, I would open the photo, go to the, the photography, the photographer profile. And usually people don't just upload one photo from that place. So I really like this. Let's see what else they have from that same place. Like you can see here, they have a lot of photos from that location. Now I can grab all of these photos, put them into a mood board and go from there. Diff oh, wow. This is a very cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be doing something with this. God damn it, that's fine. This is a, another way for you to either create an idea or just find content for your existing idea. As you can see, like usually people now on Unsplash, they have a lot of photos from the same thing. One other thing that I found very useful, if you get like a travel photographer or something, they usually have the same style of editing. And if you want the photo to be like very cohesive, final piece to be, to be very cohesive easily for you. If you're doing like something like what I'm doing right now, the November challenge where I'm doing like a piece every day for two hours, uh, you can use photos from the same okay wait a minute <laughs> my card is full no why god damn it okay wait a minute we're back uh my card got full i'm sorry i'm so sorry so i was talking about unsplash like just to finish off what i was saying if you want something to look very cohesive easily for just an instant edit or a challenge or whatever you are you are doing if you find a good Unsplash photographer, they usually have a lot of photos of the same location and they tend to all have the same type of quality. So maybe go for that. Why am I wearing my headphones? I'm stupid. Please, this is one thing I'm trying to be more proactive uh, about. Tag your photographers if they have an Instagram. If you can, if you have the time, please tag people. Tool number a three. Paxels. Goddamn, Paxels is awesome. I'm sorry, Paxels. I would mm, I would say Paxels is a little bit better than Unsplash. And I'm gonna give you the reasons. First of all, their homepage is featured by freaking color, and that's awesome. If you like are just looking for a mood, that's perfect. Because you like have basically a mood board done here. Like you can oh, I wanna like low light shots mm, bam 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 thank you goddamn yeah like you know it's awesome they have video so if you're doing like a youtube video i'm trying to incorporate this into my own videos you can go to pexels and find content that fits the vibe you're going for their quality is very good so i'm i basically use pexels the same way i use unsplash if I'm not in the mood to like have an idea or my brain froze or I have like creative block or something, I just sit here and scroll and I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I, oh, that's kind of, oof, that's kind of spooky. Sometimes I waste a lot of time just scrolling mindlessly. That's why when my R drive died, I lost what, I think it was like 20,000 photos. So don't do that. Um, that's another tip, don't save photos in a bulk folder that's that's ooh, that's bad that's bad for for your creative process because your brain at least i'm speaking for people that think like me your brain it's probably gonna like end up freezing over like oh i can't see anything because there's a lot of options that's a little tip for you guys because i feel like having a good organ organization organ system of or of, of 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 categories uh things where it's not speaking english like me what uh, that's very good. That's very important. Uh, it helps a lot when you're trying to find a specific stock. It helps a lot when you're uh, brainstorming and you need like visuals if you don't want to spend time on Unsplash because that tends to have other things happening and then you just waste time. Oh, because you saw a dog and now you're watching a dog photo. So try to be proactive and try to think now for tomorrow and or, oh my God, this is so cool. You see, so I was scrolling, right? Right, I was scrolling and now I'm, I just got, ooh, what's that? You know, this, that's a problem. So organize your photos, tag your peoples, God damn it. Usually Pexels or Unsplash have the name of the photographer on the top of the, photo name like on a photo file just copy that put it on the search bar on unsplash pixels whatever and you'll get the user do that it's not that hard and the photographers 
really appreciate that. And yeah, I think those are my three main tools for like creative process. Like that's where I jumpstart my creatives. I'm not gonna lie, mainly from Pinterest if I'm doing um, like a big project, not a, like photo challenge or anything. So that's my process. You asked, I answered, and that's it. All the, oh my God, I spent 50 minutes in here waiting for the goddamn car to be like empty now for five minutes of more info. God damn it, oh my God, so cute. Okay, <laughs> but if you have any questions, leave it on the comment section below. I'm live on Twitch every other day besides the weekend. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. GMT. And now until the end of November, I'm gonna be doing November, so art streams every day. and at like 5-ish p.m. GMT as well. So if you want to join in or ask me something or whatever, just drop it, drop by the links is, uh, the links is, the links is, the link is in the description box below. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up, share with a friend because that's good and we appreciate that. Leave a comment or subscribe or do everything. That would be the best. Okay, goodbye. Love you too. Bye.